Composites are made up of at least two distinct intended materials which together improve product performance and or lower manufacturing costs. Many materials routinely designated by other terms are also considered composites, including plated, clad, or coated metals. The term composite, however, has come to mean a material consisting of a matrix or base material and a reinforcement material. The matrix functions as a binder for the reinforcement and controls the physical shape and dimensions of the part. The primary purpose of the matrix is to transfer the load or stress applied to the composite to the reinforcement. The matrix also protects the reinforcement from adverse environmental effects. The reinforcement's function is to improve the mechanical properties of the composite and is typically the main load-bearing element. Reinforcement is usually in the form of fibers or particles. There are numerous methods of producing parts from fiber-reinforced thermoset polymers, with the primary types being manual layup, automated layup, spray-up, filament winding, pultrusion, and resin transfer molding. Manual layup is a widely used method of manufacturing a wide range of composite parts and components. The process begins with cutting the reinforcement material to size. This may be performed using knives, scissors, disc cutters, power shears, rotary power cutters, saws, or lasers. A mold having the desired part shape is then coated with a release agent to permit subsequent part release. Composite manufacturing molds are commonly made of steel, aluminum, nickel, copper, or polymer matrix composites. Once coated with a release agent, a layer of resin called a gel coat may be applied to the mold and allowed to cure to a tacky state. As the gel coat cures, the reinforcement material is prepared for application by impregnation with wet resin or matrix material. The impregnated reinforcement material is then placed on the coated mold surface and hand rolled for uniform distribution and removal of entrapped air. More reinforcement material and resin are applied as needed in this manner until required part thickness has been built up. This so-called wet layup method can be used with nearly all reinforcement materials and is widely used to produce glass reinforced polyester products and sometimes glass reinforced epoxy products. Wet layup is also used for making composite molds. Layup can also be performed using prepreg material. Use of prepreg eliminates separate handling of the reinforcement and resin. Prepreg reduces resin consumption and can improve part quality by providing more consistent control of reinforcement and resin contents. However, prepreg must be kept in refrigerated storage until use time to prevent pre-curing. Composites are made up of at least two distinct intended materials, a matrix or base material and a reinforcement material. The matrix functions as a binder for the reinforcement and controls the physical shape and dimensions of the part. The primary purpose of the matrix is to transfer the load or stress applied to the composite to the reinforcement. The matrix also protects the reinforcement from adverse environmental effects. Some of the primary matrix materials include polyester, epoxy, bismali imid, phenolic, and polyimid. The reinforcement's function is to improve the mechanical properties of the composite and is typically the main load-bearing element. Reinforcement is usually in the form of fibers 
or particles. Some of the most commonly used fibers are e-glass, aramid, and carbon, which is also referred to as graphite. These fibers come in many forms, including strand, toe, fabric, pre-impregnated or pre-preg tape, and preforms. There are numerous methods of producing composite parts, with the primary types being manual layup, automated layup, spray up, filament winding, pultrusion, and resin transfer molding. After production, composite parts may be allowed to cure at room temperature or with open-air heat assist. Composite parts are also commonly consolidated and cured in heat platen presses, ovens, or autoclaves. After curing, composite parts can be cut, machined, drilled, and otherwise fabricated by many of the same methods used for metals. Additionally, composite parts may be joined and assembled using adhesive bonding and mechanical fastening.